Aggressive characters are fun. Welcome back everyone, my name is Fallout, and today we're looking at one of the more offensive characters in Apex Bloodhound. He's a tracker, and if you want to pick up and learn a new legend that can help you get out there and help your team frag out even harder, look no further than Bloodhound. He doesn't have abilities that will directly damage enemies like Bangalore or Caustic, but what he does have is a particular set of skills that allows you to both find enemies more efficiently and tear them apart faster after you've found them. Let's take a look at what Bloodhound brings to the table. His passive ability, which again is always active no matter what, is called Tracker. Your enemies will automatically leave traces of their presence behind on the battlefield, only visible to you in a 60 second window. So if a player was recently in the area up to a minute ago, the game shows you clues and tracks as to where they were going and what they were doing. Ledge climbing, running if an enemy took damage, damage, if an enemy got downed, etc. The game tells you how much time has passed on each one of these clues, but you know, the darker the color of red on the tracks, the more recent the enemy was there. You also have the ability to mark these tracks the same way you would highlight a location on the map or a piece of loot on the ground. You point them out to your teammates, who again, can't see these tracks because they are only visible to you. Of course, if you're talking with your teammates on the mic, you can just tell them that you're following a trail, but being able to mark them in-game is nice for people who solo queue or who don't want to speak to random teammates. I mean really, human interaction? Ain't nobody got time for that. Bloodhound's passive ability, as you can imagine, is huge. In BR games, you're always on the hunt for your next team to wipe, and coming across tracks either intentionally, or even better, by accident, can give you a much better chance at getting the drop on the enemy team before they get the drop on you. Bloodhound's tactical ability is Eye of the Allfather. Reveal hidden enemies, traps, and clues throughout structures in front of you. That's a lot of fancy talk for what basically boils down to a human detective protecting EMP that you blast out in front of you. Keep in mind, Eye of the Allfather does not go in a 360 degree radius. Whichever way you're facing, that's the way that the EMP is going to go out, and that is the direction that you'll be able to see in. The effect is brief, but it goes through walls and buildings, making it pretty damn handy. You can use it to scout out new buildings and locations to make sure they're clear of any hostiles before you go looting. You can use it in combination with your tracking ability to pinpoint enemies enemies you already know are in the area. You can use it in a firefight when enemies are trying to run away from you and you want to finish them off. What's even better is that unlike your passive tracking ability, teammates can see your Eye of the Allfather wave every time you activate it. So if a teammate calls out an enemy location nearby, get close, activate your Eye, everyone sees where the enemy is, and you hunt them down. And don't get stingy with that ability either, it has a 35 second cooldown, so you can use it fairly frequently. Finally, we come to Bloodhound's ultimate, Beast of the Hunt. Once activated, you move much faster, and your enemies become very highlighted on your HUD. They glow bright red among a now grayish backdrop, and their footprints glow in the ground as well. The effect lasts for a whole 35 seconds, which is plenty of time to run in and destroy an entire team. My favorite part about Beast of the Hunt is that it encourages you to go ham. Get in there, get the drop on the enemy, out strafe the hell out of them and get the win. This ultimate pairs really well with Bangalore's smoke nade. Blind and damage your enemies with that smoke bomb, Bloodhound goes beast mode and sees them perfectly through the shroud. Easy. Remember though, you're not invincible when doing this. Hell, you don't even do more damage than you normally do. All you are is very fast and you have hawk-like vision. You still have to make sure that you have a high tier weapon and a good amount of health before diving in and fragging out with your ultimate. Something else about this ultimate I really enjoy Joy, it charges very quickly. Not every ultimate in Apex Legends has the exact same charge rate. For example, Lifeline's ultimate charges in about 6 minutes. Bloodhound's charges in 3. What does that mean for you? Don't hesitate with it. Don't do that weird thing gamers do where they have something really good but they don't want to use it because eh, I can save it for later when I really need it. Use your ultimate, use it whenever you can. I have a friend who uses it just to run from new location to new location. I mean, who knows, you might find an enemy team on the way that you might not have seen before. Remember though, unlike Eye of the Allfather, Beast of the Hunt will not let you see through walls. You can use both abilities together though. And that 
that's it. There's not really much else to Bloodhound. He's easy to learn, but takes time to learn well. If you're looking for a brand new character to pick up and you want someone who encourages offense, someone who is a firm follower in the church of holding forward, who rewards smart play and good tactical use, go for Bloodhound. Lead the charge and never look back. If you enjoyed this guide and would like more Apex content, please let me know by hitting the like button. Also, help me achieve my dream of being the eternal emperor of planet Earth by hitting subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you next time.